Good afternoon, everybody. If you look behind us, you can see the ocean and the beach. And we're in Rehoboth Beach right now in Delaware. We're on another road trip. We're gonna be heading down to Key West. So we've done Route 66 now, which we're gonna do the uh, um, Lincoln Highway and the Pacific Coast Highway. Right now, we're gonna go down the whole Atlantic Coast that we can. We start here in Delaware. So I'll have to skip a little bit due to time for work and things like that. In the future, we'll come back to the same spot, go way up to Canada. Right now, we're gonna drive from here up the next seven or eight days, all the way down to Key West. So we thought what a perfect stop or start to the trip right here, then Rehoboth Beach. So we're on the boardwalk right now. The ocean's back there behind us. This reminds us so much of Atlantic City and the boardwalk there, which has always been pretty cool. And uh, we have a book we'll show you when we get back to the car, but it has a bunch of different road trips on it. We're going to do a border to border one year from like uh, Canada down to Mexico, which would be pretty cool. Uh, Steph, you excited for this trip? Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah I'm really excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to take several days, like you said, seven to eight days. Um, but there's a reward at the end. We get a three day stay in Destin. Yeah, so we're gonna go all the way down to Key West on seven or eight days and then go over to Destin, Florida. I uh, do three days there. We used to go to Destin, Florida a ton before the YouTube channel. And then we started going to Orange Beach more. And so we'll go back and film some things there we haven't done in probably about a couple years, probably. They've been one tries the channel start, which didn't film. But uh, with that being said, we're just excited. Got our St. Patrick's Day hat on. If you saw our National Downtown video, you saw me buy this hat just a couple of days ago, actually, or about a couple weeks ago, actually. And uh, we're super excited. So there's the ocean back there. A beautiful day. A little bit of wind, not too bad. Um, but yeah, so join us. We're just going to walk up down the boardwalk here. Uh, Thrasher's Fries. I always want to try those. Uh, we're just going to check out what the town has to offer. And we'll make our way down to uh, Fenwick Island down there in Dewey Beach area. That's where we'll be staying for the night. And uh, just walk on the boardwalk and maybe get some pizza, too. There's been a couple... Good smelling pizza stops and yeah. their stuff. Yeah, I saw um, Grotto's Pizza and Louis Pizza that both smell really good. Yeah. So that being said, let's walk on the boardwalk and then hit the road Yay. to Key West. It's a beautiful day at the beach and the boardwalk. A little bit overcast, but for us, we love that. There's the beach entrance right there to your right. And the ocean's pretty calm today, actually. It's a little too chilly to go out on the beach, though. Yeah, it's about 60, 65, maybe. Great for us, but not so much great for maybe like the ocean. There's a candy kitchen there. There's a little gazebo there for bands and things like that. I just love being on the boardwalk, don't you, Steph? Yeah. yeah. We've been to Atlantic City a few times, and we really enjoy walking on that boardwalk. So this is going to be a new adventure for us, going down to tons of boardwalks on this trip and checking them out. We'll do as many as we can. We'll definitely have to skip a couple, though, only because there's so many. But Yeah, unfortunately, we have to... Be out of time to start going back to work, but yep. we'll fit as much as we can. And there's a uh, Louis Pizza and Thrasher's Fries. I'm thinking I was get both of them stuff, get our pizza and our fries. First stop at the beach is Thrasher's French fries. Look at that, they look fantastic right there. They look like steak escape fries. Remember steak escape? We used to have them back in Nashville in the mall, maybe other places too. Here's some of the best French fries money could buy. There's their booth right there, Thrasher's. I love the fact no ketchup too, just malt vinegar, how fries should be. But look at these french fries right here. Those things look amazing. Oh no, we're filming a little video. We're good. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate you. And so, there it is. The famous thrashers. I already tried one and it was really good. Jeremy put some vinegar on there. Yeah, I tried one without the vinegar to see how they were. There's some pretty good french fries. There's the malt vinegar on there. That's just the way to go. the vinegar on the Can I try it with the vinegar? Which ones have vinegar? All of them? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The vinegar's the way to go. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. It's like, uh, I think seven or eight bucks for a small. That's plenty for you to share, especially if you get some more food in the area. Oh, man, put that vinegar on the fries, at the bowl, at the beach. It's a good day. Yep, and right there, Louis Pizza, subs, grinder steaks. I think that's gonna be our next stop, yeah? We're gonna get a slice of pizza for dinner. Heading past Louis for now. Jared, I found the perfect shirt for you. We're gonna get some pizza here in a minute. I'm gonna come back by. Uh, I see it already. I put old day. On my Old Bay. That's the perfect shirt for me. I'm a huge Old Bay fan. Old Bay goes on everything. All little shops here, t-shirt shops, and all kinds of stuff up here. Mediterranean Grill. Old Time Photo. There's all kinds of free parking out here too. We parked just across the street over there. But very close up here. Subway. A lot of cool shops up here. 
place called Salty Paws Doggy Ice Cream Bar and Bakery. There's a Rita's right there. We used to have a Rita's in our hometown, but they closed down. This one's closed for the day, it looks like. And Five Guys Burgers and Fries, but... They don't open until March 21st. They also don't have nothing on Thrasher's French Fries either. The Shirt Factory, custom printing and everything. There's more shots we'll show on the other side, but... I just love the, the vibe of here. It has to be packed in the uh, summertime one oh stuff. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> it's like perfect. It's like your normal gift store here, like an Alvin's Island or something. All kinds of shirts in here, and they got hats. Rehoboth Beach and everything. Yeah, it looks like your typical Alvin's Island store in here. We're heading back down towards the, where we came from. We went in the shirt factory and got a shirt. They charge 50 cents for a bag and 3% for a credit card transaction. But the weird thing is we got one shirt there for $15.99. The total with the three percent and the fifty cent bag came to fifteen fifty. So, is that girl math right enough? That's fair. I'll take it. I mean, it's not. Yeah, I'm not sure the math on that, but yeah, fifteen fifty. So forty cents cheaper after the three percent and the fifty cent bag. So we'll take it. I'm not sure how that math works though. There's a really cool place here called it's like Nalu N A L U. It's a Hawaiian surf bar and grill with some outside seating. That's nice. There's restaurants out there in the center too, stuff. Yeah, so public restrooms in the middle there. This is a really nice boardwalk area. Very nice. There's grotto pizza. Which one are we going to try? Mm -hmm. We were talking about Louie's. Yeah, we'll yeah. get a slice from each one. They have a slice each one. And we'll share a slice each place, maybe. Maybe. I think we just do Louie's though. And grotto. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Louie's pizza right there. Look at that. Got the parmal and a little bit of the oregano and the uh, crushed red pepper on there. One of Stephanie's pizzas, our favorite pizzas of all time, is just at the shore here in Atlantic City. And this looks similar to it. And look at that. Just, oh, it's not as crispy. Look at that. Oh, man. It's, it's definitely just a, not as crispy, but it looks that's gonna good. That's going to be awesome. It looks really good. Look at our view back here. Hmm. I mean, pizza at the beach. This I'm is not just, mad at it. This makes me happy. I don't know. I just, we went to Atlantic City a couple few times. I've had maybe three or four times. I haven't went to Atlantic City. But we just love being on the boardwalk, eating out there and everything. It's just something special about having the ocean right there and the boardwalk. It's just, it's just cool. It really is. We're going to grab a seat at the bench here eat the pizza and we'll let you know how it is once we walk back through the rest of the boardwalk area. Nothing more that way besides hotels, but I always thought it was cool how your balcony just overlooks the boardwalk and everything. That was our view for pizza right there. We learned something cool here too, look at this. These things right here move. So when you move them back and forth, you can either face this way or you can face this way and people watch. But all you do is just move them. We saw someone doing that. I was like, that's the coolest design ever. <laughs> yeah. We walked but... halfway down the boardwalk to find one facing <laughs> the ocean. Yeah. But look at that. That is a view right there to eat pizza. <laughs> or really anything. I just, I love it. That's what I think I love about the boardwalk. Because you always have these like benches and seats out here. So you don't have to go into the sand if you don't want to. And get sand in your shoes or things like that. And you can still really enjoy all the views and the ocean smell. Which I love and everything. But we're going to walk back down where we came from. We shared a pizza and we shared a small fry. And we're both already full. That's not saying we're both already full. Yeah. From one slice of pizza shared and one fry shared. So what do we think of the pizza? Fantastic. It reminds us of sliced pizza in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Have you ever had that before? Uh, just a smaller version of the slice. But lots of pepperoni, a really good cheese on there. It wasn't a crispy crust. Okay, we got some little bike riders coming our way. But it wasn't like a crispy crust like we had up in Jersey before. It was still a very good pizza, that's for sure. There's an ice cream store here. Look at all these ice cream flavors they have. Wow, have fun with our free sprinkles too. We got all different kinds of little like Halloween, different kinds of sprinkles there. That's all the flavors they have there. See all the sprinkle stuff? How you doing? See the sprinkles? They have a bunch of free sprinkles there. That's kind of first date corn and more. Yeah, I like have Halloween, they have Christmas, they have all that. We're just heading back to the car. We're about a block or so down. I also love, I think I said it before, but it's free parking everywhere, which is rare. Or maybe we come from Nashville, we're used to paying for parking, I guess, right? Look at the Pokemon stuff. Snorlax, the Togepi, and the Poke, or Pikachu. Those are really cool. Or is it Togepi? Togepi, Togepi? Oh, we don't know those two. We know who it is. Togepi? I think that's what I call it. Yeah, I think it's Togepi, maybe. There's a little Bulbasaur right there in the window. I know it's beach is not what I expected it to be, but it's cool. Yeah, it's what like... It's like a 
more kind of revitalized of Atlantic City a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Atlantic City's kind of going downhill a lot. I just remember reading yeah. um, a romance book. Beachwear <laughs> store. And they made it sound so awesome. There's a lot of nice homes out here, though. But it's different than, yeah. Look at this stuff. Go Fish. A British fish and chip shop and seafood restaurant. Look Good. at the phone booth. You can go into the phone booth door there. Another Thrasher's Fries. That one's closed, but the one we went to is back over there. It's open. There's a coffee and juice bar here. And here's the other pizza place I've been seeing, the Grotto Pizza. I think there's three locations right here at the boardwalk. Yeah, and there's one closer. I think I saw on the map to our hotel, so maybe not now. We don't get pizza, and then we go get later. Maybe. Or if they have it by the slice, they probably do. Another ice cream shop. There's Penny Lane Mall here, too. This is like a boardwalk alleyway off the boardwalk. Lighting store there. You get fresh lemon aid and orange uh, juice right there. Oh, cool. Right, we're gonna walk through there as well, but there's everything that's down here. That's the thing. Looks like there's more stuff at the end, doesn't it? So we'll walk this way, then we'll turn back around and hop in the car and continue this trip to Key West. No, we didn't check Steph how many miles we had to Key West. Yeah, I think if you don't go to all the beach towns and stuff, what we're going to do is like 20-something hours, which is not bad. A little game store right here. While Steph's checking out, I'll just show you the rest of the stuff in this little area. Old Salt Gift Shop. Like you see the sign here closed for the season, so it is off-season, so a lot of things are still closed currently. We do a lot of our traveling in the off seasons most of the time. There's a surf shack down here and a sea finds. Both are like gift stores. This one's beach decor and everything. Little rabbits there. Okay, hey, Stephanie checked it right now. He's taking interstate. It's 20 hours and 17 minutes to Key West. 1282 miles. Okay, here's what this leads you out to. Marachi restaurant there. A what? The Marachi, right? Mariachi. Mariachi, yeah, thank you. I didn't know And then the Rehoboth. Rehoboth? Rehoboth Ale House. There we go. There's that little alleyway that we walked through right there called the Penny Lane Mall. We're gonna head back, hop in the car, and I guess we'll head down towards our hotel in Dewey Beach and um, Fenwick, Fenwick Island down there. Yeah, we're gonna stop in Fenwick. Yeah, Fenwick, yep. In Rehoboth Beach, in literally the center of the road, is a replica lighthouse. So you can see that roundabout right here and the museum and everything is right over there in the visitor center and uh there's also rise up coffee which is right there just for point of reference uh but this is pretty cool it's a replica lighthouse of the cape Henlopen, i believe it is cape Henlopen uh lighthouse it's in the circle on the west end of rehoboth avenue and rehoboth beach and uh the replica was built by a realtor in the city in 1924 was placed outside his office on the first block of the avenue and since then it's been moved around uh, but now the city does own it and this is where it's currently placed at so right as you come into Rehoboth Beach you get a replica of a lighthouse that is awesome we'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see a better view of it there so across the street from the replica lighthouse is this cool little coffee shop here called Rise Up we came here to get some coffee look how cool this place is in here though Really nice place in here. They got a little outside sitting area too. We're just waiting for our coffee right now. Coffee order is up. And look at those cool straws they get you here. And the cool rise up cup there. And the milk is huge. And looks fantastic right there as well. And I guess not far from Rehoboth Beach is Dewey Beach. Um, literally even in the car for like three minutes and we're already in Dewey Beach. Yeah. Dewey. Yeah, we put in the, um, the lighthouses we're heading to now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so these homes out here, just really nice homes. Really nice homes. You know, water tower over there, Dewey Beach water tower. Mm -hmm. It's not painted like we're used to. I guess we're used to the Florida stuff a lot. It's like Orange Beach and all that has the painted uh, water towers and all that. But that's cool. Like Dewey Beach, Reho Rehoboth Beach. Rehoboth? Rehoboth. It's Rehoboth. There's no Beth in either of them. Who's Beth? Is she Reho's friend? Who's Reho? <laughs> We're going to cut the video. <laughs> so there's the first tower. The second one, I'm going to zoom in for you, is way down there. Let's go see what these are, Jer. Yeah, apparently there's a third one. We're talking about the car down more towards Fenwick area. 
it's not restored yet. Yeah. There's two factories here. We did a lot of research in these areas and trying to figure out what we want to do, like boardwalks and beach stuff. And this didn't pop up for anything, so we're not sure what this is. And there's not a lighthouse, but there's no uh, light up top. So what? What does it say? They were built from 39 to 42. It's 11 concrete observation towers along Delaware's coast. Were built to protect shores during World War II. World War II. They were meant to last about 20 years. They're still standing after 60 years. So Jeremy, there's. It's open. Eleven of these. The door's open. I'm not going in there. I got nothing else to do. <laughs> now, here's a little bit of information here for Fire T Control Tower 3. So we'll leave it right there for a second so we can pause it. And there's a QR code right there if you want to scan that and read any more information about it. But Fire Control Tower 3. Okay, we're on the corner and these are just open. There's informational plaques inside and everything. Oh, this is like a lighthouse. Going on up to the top there. We'll see how far up it goes. It is extremely windy up here. Look at the views up here. That's the bay right there. There's the stairs coming up. And there's the ocean over here. The views here. Jeremy is all the way at the top of that tower. All the way there. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. <laughs> He's doing a dance up there. Oh man. I am so proud of him for climbing that. He is not a big fan of heights. I certainly wouldn't have done it, and he did. So, good job, Jer. We've come across this cool looking totem pole type structure here. This is Chief Little Owl here. This is the third rendition of it. And this one's 24 feet tall. There's a whole lot more history about it. Uh, but this was tallest 10 statue, the original one. This is a remake of the original one, but this is the third one here now. And this is for Chief Little Owl. That's really cool. It's right here in Bethany Beach in the downtown area. Not really any good places to park here, but there it is. Here at Fisher's Popcorn. T-shirts, $15, 2023 summer colors are here, though it's not 2024. But, here's so many great things about Fishers. So, such famous popcorn. There's all the prices right there. There's a burger, there's some of the famous popcorn here. There it is in the window right there. And there's all the flavors right there. Going with the kettle corn. And also get the Old Bay Caramel Popcorn as well. So we got our Fisher's popcorn. There's a sign for right there. Possibly trillions served. Look at that. <laughs> this is our first time trying it. We heard a lot about it though. A lot of great reviews. So we got one of the kettle corn. And I'm a huge Old Bay fan. It's definitely not so much. I eat the all. Old Bay hot <laughs> sauce on everything. I put Old Bay seasoning on whatever I can. They have a caramel corn Old Bay season right there. So these are both uh, $8.50 a piece. Uh, looking forward to it though. Got our Fisher. We'll give it a try and let you know. But this is exciting. We're on the coast. We gotta start it off with some good popcorn up here. We have made it to our next stop, the Fenwick Island Lighthouse. Growing up, we always loved seeing lighthouses, one of my dad's favorite things. So I wanna always carry that tradition on as much as I can. It's closed right now for renovations. We're also late in the day. With our work schedules, it's always hard to try to get to lighthouses earlier when they're open. But there's the grounds of the lighthouse there. Just really nice looking. And out front too is this thing called the Trans Peninsular Line. This stone monument, erected April 26, 1751, marks the eastern end of the Trans Peninsular Line, surveyed 1750 to 1751 by John Watson and William Parsons of Pennsylvania, and John Emery and Thomas Jones of Maryland. This line established the east to west boundary between Pennsylvania's three lower counties, now Delaware, and the colony of Maryland, and established uh, also. The middle point of the peninsula, 35 miles to the west, the stone bears the coat of arms uh, of the Calverts on the south side and the pins on the north, 
It was accepted in 1760 and finally ratified um, 1769 by King George III. Here's a look at the marker right here. I'll show you the back side to it. Right there. And there's the top of it right there. I'll walk over here again and show you this lighthouse one more time. Next up, Dumser's Dairyland. You hear so much about this place. They actually have dinner at this location and lunch at this location only. And they also have what we're here for, which is going to be ice cream tonight. Shake Sundays, ice cream sodas, and ice cream. It's starting to rain out here right now. They got fountain service right over there. Here's the ice cream area right here. So you can go up here and get all your cones, cups, milkshakes, floats, and everything ordered here. And they got all the seating out here and everything that's covered. Enjoy your ice cream at. That was Dumzers. There's a cup right there. Got the peanut butter chocolate chip milkshake. Fantastic stuff. Got the strawberry ice cream, which I also tried. Steph and I both liked that quite a bit. Uh, great service. Great ice cream. So if you're in Ocean City, there's a lot of locations. We're on the boardwalk. I think we're going to the boardwalk tomorrow. Uh, but on the boardwalk, we went to the main one. We had to serve food as well. Uh, so this one's right next to a golf course. So you could do some putt-putt and grab some ice cream. It's like a fun time. It's rainy now, so no putt-putt in our future. But uh, go to Dumpsters. You'll definitely like the ice cream for sure. Okay. So here's a quick look at our room. We just checked in. Um, we did just book a simple king room. They did upgrade us because Jeremy's a diamond member at Hilton Properties. So they gave us a king suite. It's a really nice big old bathroom that goes into the bedroom over there. Um, it has a kitchenette, balcony, nice TV, and it's a nice couch there. This is a sofa bed. Then you walk through here, and there's the bathroom again. And here's your king bed. So very nice room. Double balcony doors, one from the bedroom and one from the living room area. There is kind of a view. And then if you look to the left, which I, I'm not going to do it right now because Jeremy's waiting for me. Um, but, well, no, let's do it. Jeremy can wait. Jeremy can wait. If we go out here, there's the Zunian. There's the ocean. Something else I like about this hotel, we're on the second floor and the pool is right here. Like, this is the elevator I'm getting on to go downstairs to meet Jeremy. And you can just look at the pool while you're waiting. It's very nice. Day one of our Key West Atlantic Coast trip is completed. Awesome day for sure. Uh, I think I mentioned in the beginning of the video that at some point in the future we'll come back here to the same hotel and go north all the way to Canada and finish up that side. Right now we're gonna go all the way down to Key West, finish this side. We wish we could do it all in one trip, but similar to Route 66, we gotta get back to work eventually. And so we'll just split up into two videos, hopefully next year, uh, but maybe the year after that, it's hard to say for sure. Um, but great first day. We had some awesome pizza. We had some awesome French fries. Thrasher's is great. Louis is, Louis, right Steph? Yeah, Louis. Louis is great. Uh, we really enjoyed sitting on the boardwalk out there, watching the ocean. Uh, saw a replica lighthouse, saw a lighthouse. Had some awesome, awesome coffee, some good ice cream, some good popcorn. <laughs> this is a good beach day in it, besides it's not being on the beach itself, like actually on the sand. Um, yeah, great day. This is our book right here, Road Trip USA. And so this is uh, Cross Country Adventures on America's Two Lane Highways. Now for Route 66 in the past, we had to use a different book and also a ton ton of research but this one here has a bunch of different road trips that i call less common in there as well like lincoln highway is in here there's a bunch of like three or four going from coast to coast like east coast to west coast there's also some going from canada uh, down to mexico and i was trying to look real quick to tell you how many there is in here um i don't see the exact total but see on the side there the colors every color is a different road trip so the one we're on right now is the atlantic coast one and so a lot of people take like the kind of highway down, I think it's the A, uh, the 1A, uh, or A1A, I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head. A1A, thanks babe. And then when you get down to Florida, there is the, Florida's the A1A. Yeah. And this is like a 1A or something like that, or 1, 
we're going to try to hug the coastline and follow this book as much as we can. We will have to kind of go around um, Cape Hatteras a little bit. We've both been to Cape Hatteras before. We also want to do like a full video in Cape Hatteras. There's like three or four museums there, the lighthouse and things like that. So this trip we're going to bypass it just because we need a whole day there plus about four hours for ferries getting out of there. But we'll head down to like Kitty Hawk area and then kind of go around that and then continue down to Key West and then eventually go up to Destin. But yeah, check out this road trip book here. We'll put an Amazon link in the description below. Uh, it's a really great book. I think it was what, $25 or $30, something like that. Uh, but it's a great book, a lot of great details in there. And uh, thank you all for joining us. This is our second road trip we did on the channel. First was Route 66, which is a blast. Now this one, and then we will do some more Route 66 in the future. Definitely Pacific Coast Highway. And definitely uh, the, uh, what's the one I always forget, Steph? Lincoln Highway. Lincoln Highway, thanks, man. <laughs> That's from Times Square to San Francisco, I believe it is, which will be awesome. That one we have to do over three years. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome town up here, an awesome area. And tomorrow, we're going to be heading over to uh, the Boardwalk. <laughs> There's Steph's little head. <laughs> the Boardwalk in, um, in Maryland down there. Ocean City. Uh, Ocean City. And then we're going to go probably some more lighthouses if we can. And then kind of make our way down the coast that way. And as we keep going down, we'll do more lighthouses, boardwalks, anything else we can find. We'll throw in some full hotel videos, like one on this hotel. So probably some full restaurant reviews, like maybe Sloppy Joe's in Key West when we get down there. So we're just going to have a mix of full videos on the channel, but definitely a vlog every single day. So join us on this road trip. We appreciate everybody. Check this book out. You don't have to buy it. Just look at the description on Amazon. You'll really enjoy us reading through what they have on the description. And like, you know, this road trip's right there. We need to do them all. <laughs> But with that being said, we're going to hit the hay. It's uh, about time to go to bed. So we can get up early and hit the road again. But for Hobo Beach and Fenwick Island, some pretty cool places. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for joining us. The nerds are out.